Most of the time when these people be talking, I don't even hear them. I don't. They talk and they talk, but I do not hear shit when I'm near them. I swear to God that I came. What's up, guys? Young Super Gamer here, and in this video, I'm gonna be double evolving Vlad. I have all the, or actually, double evolving Santa. I would double evolve Vlad first, but. He's only level 175, and I think I'll be able to get 5,000 more fame in the time it takes him to get him 10 levels. So, we're going to be double evolving Santa Boom right here. I got two duplicates in the warehouse and one duplicate out of the warehouse. So, this is what we're going to be using. We're going to be dropping quite a bit of might, but in exchange, I'm going to be opening up a few ordinaries and elites, trying to get a level 5 talent born on them, so that... Um, from the tower, I just got my sixth tower, so I need a sixth elite and a sixth ordinary. So this is another reason that I'm evolving my or double evolving my Santa Boom is so that I get rid of that Santa in my altar and I can start opening up elite heroes to try and see if they're born with a level five talent. So let's go ahead and double evolving. He's dropping from 72,000 health to 60,000. And he's dropping from 6,700 damage to 4,300 damage. So, um, definitely going to come in handy tomorrow f or tonight for Fortress Feud. Because tonight's nice Fortress Feud. So, this is another reason I'm double evolving him. Just for his extra health and his extra attack. Hoping it will help quite a bit in uh, Fortress Feud. So, now let's go ahead and try and get him back up to a decent level. I don't have any sweeps left, I don't think, but that doesn't matter. I got tons of tombs saved up, so let's try and get him to a decent level. Already level uh, 100, let's go ahead and 6 star him. And let's try to get him to at least 140 uncapped. That's my goal. Alright, so he's 7 star now. Let's go ahead and try to get him to 140. There we go, he's 140. Let's go ahead and uncap him. But I'm not going to put any more books into him because I need to try to level up elites too for Garrison. So his attack almost double. That's crazy. His health almost did the same thing. Wow. 108,000 health and 8,200 attack. I didn't know his stats were going to jump that much. And he's only level uh, 148 star. So I can't wait till I see him 10 star. His health is probably going to be like 130,000. His attack is going to be probably close to 10,000. So let's go ahead and get the evolution items returned. And so that's pretty much it. I just double evolved my Santa, but now I need to start um, opening up all these elites and stuff. Stay if you want to see, but it's okay if you leave the video now. I just need to try to um, get my garrisons up now. So let's go and see what that Marauder is born with. Only one of eight, so we're going to be consuming him. I'm not going to keep anything that's less than a five of eight. So I'm going to be consuming everything in my. Orcs Bane because I think I'm going to level up my Orcs Bane later tonight too for um, Fortress Feud because just by using all my slimes and stuff I could get him to 6 to 10 but at the same time I think I might actually put that into a, a hero for Garrison instead but it all depends if a hero is born with a 5 8 or not if one of these elites are not born with a 5 8 talent then I'm just going to put everything into that Orcs Bane and wait till I roll gems again and use those uh, elites and ordinaries to try to be born with a 5 8 talent. So, where is my orcs pain? There he is. Consume the executioner. Wish there was a faster way to do this, but there really isn't. It'd be nice to have the assassin born with a really good talent because the assassin is actually a fast, one of the fastest elites. So, if she gets the extra might. Okay, only a 1 of 8, so let's go and consume that. There we go. Really, really hoping that one of these are born with a 5 8 so I can put all my essence and stuff into a hero. But if not, that's fine. I can just level up that Orcs Bane for Fortress Feud later today. Orcs Bane would be better for Fortress Feud leveling them up, but the Elite or Ordinary would be better for Garrison and Might. So, where's my Orcs Bane? I'm just going to go ahead and skip to whether if I do get an Elite with 5 8 or not so I'm just gonna go, gonna go ahead and skip right now okay guys so a hero is actually born with a 5-8 uh, spring it was a triton so now I can consume everything into this triton or at least up until it gets to 6-10 so let's go ahead and put all the green essence in first 
Okay, well, I don't even have to spend that much. Let's go ahead and just get him to 6 of 10. And I'm going to go and level him up and try to get that might up. So there we go, 6 of 10 Atlantic Doom. And look at what his proc does. Deals damage equal to 100% attack to all enemies, reducing their healing received by 75% for 6 seconds. All enemies. So any troop out, he will get rid of them. So I really think that he might actually be good for a totem for Hiri Monsters or something. I don't know, but I already cleared Hiri Monster T, so I don't really need to worry about that. But now I need to try to level up this Triton to at least um, 120. 140 is what I really want him to get him to, just for the extra might, so, he's level 60 now, 80, I'm not really worried about any of his stats or anything, so I'm not going to check that, I'm just trying to get him up to 120, 140 would be nice, because then he'd be right along with the rest of my elites, and then he'd be a level 4 garrison, I think, or level 5, I'll check as soon as I get him to the level that I need him to be, Hold on, let me make sure 140 is where I need him. Okay, so he's n 140 is not where I need him. I need him at 120, which is where I got him. Actually, let's go ahead and uncap the rest of my elites. Are they already level? They're not 80 inscription either, so I'm going to be able to push a lot of my... Let's go ahead and uncap them. Let's go ahead and get the gold first, and I'm just going to uncap every elite. And that will help me might push super good, so... I'll be able to get all of them from level 60 inscription to level 80 inscription, which will again help a bunch. So, here's a lot of gold and mana. So, I'll be able to fill my mana and inscribe them a little bit and use the gold for uncapping. So, hoping Atlanticor Totem doesn't proc because that's the only thing that ruins it. Yeah, Atlanticor Totem procced, but I already had all the gold. So, now let's go ahead and uncap those heroes. All my elites, and I'll uncap all my ordinaries later whenever I get my honor badges built back up because I'm pretty low on honor badges right now. Going to go down to 50,000. So, yeah, now I'm at 50,000 honor badges, and I think from now on I'm just gonna save up to 400,000 again because I'm gonna need that to uncap Vlad Dracula when he gets to 180. So, now let's gonna let now let's go ahead and just inscribe him as much as I can. Which will probably only be like little 70 inscription or something. Only a little 69 inscription, but. Now, um, my might will go up. Right now, my might's only at 151. Uh, 151,815, and I believe before IW Evolved Santa, it was higher than that. And the main reason for that is because the Santa I used was level 80 inscription, and it was a legend, so it gave more might than the Elite. And my Santa was level 185, so that gave more as well so um my might will go back up pretty fast as soon as i just raid for mana but anyway hopefully you guys enjoyed if you did go and hit that like button and if you haven't so go and hit that subscribe button